What do you do when you cannot do a push-up? What exercises can you do? And what can you do to just build overall strength so that you can do a push-up in the future? Watch through to the end of this video to find out. If you're ready, let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. Somehow or another, you decided you were gonna try to do a push-up and you realized if you go any farther than this, you're gonna break your face. And then you decided you didn't wanna break your face, so you just went, what the heck happened here? I used to be able to do a push-up. Or you said to yourself, shouldn't this be easy? I've seen people do this on YouTube like a hundred times. The unfortunate reality for you is it's hard. And since it's hard, it means you're weak. I don't mean that as an insult. I'm just stating a fact. The good news is you can build the strength you need to do a push-up, and I'm gonna explain how to do it pretty simply at home. That's gonna save you the embarrassment of struggling in front of total strangers at a gym or at a park. <laughs> the first thing you need to know is that doing a push-up requires arm strength, chest strength, shoulder strength, ab strength, and leg strength. I'm gonna assume you can do a plank. If you can't, you need to work on doing the plank so that your abs and your legs are strong enough to hold this position. From here, it's about your chest and arms and a little bit of the anterior shoulder. You may have noticed that just trying to lower yourself down to build strength is not really a useful and effective plan because you don't feel safe enough to go any farther than a couple inches and then you start sh- <sighs> How are you gonna be able to strengthen your arms enough to be able to lower yourself down and push yourself back up safely? Like I said, you don't even need to join a gym. Get a bench, get a chair, find a countertop, find some elevated surface that's really sturdy and stable and put your hands on top of it like you're gonna do a push up. Get your body prepared, keep your abs on, squeeze your glutes, and then slowly lower yourself down on that chair, bench, couch, counter, whatever it is. Try to get 10 to 15 repetitions in a set. Make sure you pick a surface that's high enough that allows you to do that. So if you start too low and you find, man, I can only do three repetitions, then your surface is too low and you need to raise it up. You're gonna try to do two to three sets and take a one to two minute break in between each set. That means in your push-up workout, you're gonna be doing 30 to 45 total repetitions. If you wanna do more as you get stronger, feel free. Start doing sets of 20 or 25 if you really wanna work those arms. I wanna say a huge thank you to three people, the first three supporting members of the Upright Health YouTube channel. Kendrick, Sarah, and Moondancer, thank you all three very much for becoming the first members of the Upright Health YouTube channel. If you wanna support my channel too, hit the join button down below and pick the level of perks that you want. You can also hit the thanks button or use the PayPal link you'll find down below in the description box. Now let's get back to your push-ups. Your goal is to keep getting onto lower and lower surfaces so that you're getting closer and closer to the position that you'll be in when you're doing push-ups on the floor. Just be mindful when you're doing this on stairs because your face will come really close to the step or hit the step when you're going to the full depth of your full push-up. Now you might be asking, how do I know when I can go to a lower surface or even go all the way down to the floor? How will I know? The answer is twofold. First is the more intuitive way. You're gonna hear a little voice in the back of your head say something like, hmm, I think I might be strong enough to go a little lower. The second way to know is when you can do three sets of 15 repetitions at a certain level, you're probably able to lower your level down by at least two or three inches. So let's say you put yourself on a lower surface. How are you gonna know if it's too low? Well, you'll know because you can't do a full range push-up. So if you find you're only doing little range, it means you've gone too low. And if you find that you can only do a couple reps and then you just can't finish out the set, that's okay. That doesn't mean you made any big mistake. That means you're just not quite strong enough to do the full set at that lower level. So you can do what you can at the lower level and then go back to a higher level and finish out your set. And if you wanna ensure that you get full range of motion on your push-ups, grabbing something like yoga blocks can be really helpful so that you can lower your body all the way down and through. So you're getting actually lower than you would get if you were just doing the push-up on the floor. If you're using a bench or a couch, you can use the same technique to make sure you get that really deep range of motion during your push-up. And as you get stronger, you can flip the script and start raising your feet higher than your hands and then start doing your push-ups. And that's gonna feel a lot harder as you do these awesome, fun, inclined push-ups. If you're just starting, I would suggest doing your push-up workouts two or three days a week. 
don't do them on back-to-back -back days, but do them like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or just Monday, Thursday. Just allow some space between the days that you're doing them so that your arms have time to recover. Sets of 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 are totally fine. There are no magic numbers. Just shoot for something in there and make sure that you're getting full range of motion on your reps and that they feel clean, smooth, and not painful. Now I want to hear from you. Where are you with your push-ups right now? And how long have you been working to get to that point? If you're just starting, let me know that too. And after you've used this video to build your strength to do the push-up, come back here and comment and let me know that you were able to do your first push-up. And while you're working on your push-ups, it's a good idea to also do some pulling motions. I'm going to link to a video you should watch right here. If you want to support this channel, use the thanks button or the PayPal link that you'll find down below. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't. Every time.